that's a guarantee. Is that how Coach said? On Monday. Yeah. 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 We will be the Chiefs, so I mean, it's going to be fun. Well, look, Chad was speaking his mind, That's and right. the Cincinnati Bengals at 4-5 and five had a chance at home, and the whole town was buzzing all week. You live there. I flew through there this week. But the Kansas City Chiefs at 9-0, and oh, trying to become, what, just the ninth team since the merger to make it to 10-0. and oh. Could they do it? And here we go. We're from Cincinnati in our prime cut. Dick Vermeil and the Chiefs looking to remain unbeaten. Bengals, I mean, long before the fans got there, Tommy, they were fired up. Say it's another one of those games. 6-3 in the third Chiefs. John Kidner, Chad Johnson. He did have a big game. Caught seven for 74. Same drive, Bengals. Second and nine from the KC 13. Kidner to Jeremy Johnson. We got Chad Johnson. Jeremy Johnson. And the Bengals lead it 10 to 6. What a play he made. Yeah, great effort to get that ball along the plane of the pylon. Same thing, just like the goal line. Meanwhile, this is in Miami with Don Shula. You saw Bob Greasy in the front. You saw Nick Bonacani knowing that the undefeated Chiefs are behind. Meanwhile, Priest Holmes drilled by a law for a loss by Kay Varn. And then Peter Warren. It's Dante Hall who's got gold to talk about return men, but not today. It was Peter Warren. Yeah, ran past the first wave. You can see those three guys. And then Jason Baker, the punter, just got spun around. Wasn't really of much help as Peter Warren headed directly toward the right side of the end zone. What a return by Peter Warren, who finally coming into his own this year, and it's 17-6. to But Trent Green completes Eddie Kennison 16 yards. Next play, Green, 12 yards. Tony Gonzalez, here come the Chiefs. Two-point conversion, no good. It's a 17-12 game. But how about this? Figuring the Bengals would sit on the ball. They figured wrong. Kidna, Peter Warren could go all the way. 77 yards. And the look at Dick Vermeil says, you know what? I probably would have done the same thing. <laughs> Absolutely. Got a little play call ability by Coach Lewis. And that's the look in Miami. The 72 Dolphins may be okay. But here we go. After a fumble was not called and uh, Kansas City kept the ball, that's a fourth down play. They got pass interference. And now three to Jason Dunn. Touchdown. 24 19. Here come the Chiefs again. But Rudy, 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 Rudy Johnson, 54 yards. He had 165 on the day. Into KC territory. Third and three. Two minutes to go. Rudy Johnson, right around the first down marker. If he makes it, the Bengals will essentially be the first team to beat the Chiefs. He does. They run out the clock. And the great run of Dick Vermeil's Chiefs as Bob Greasy and Don Shula and Nick Bonacani look out in Miami and all the other Dolphins elsewhere. They watch as the Chiefs are the last undefeated team to lose. They go past Veterans Day and they lose to the Bengals 24 to 19 and the Cincinnati Bengals are five and five afterwards hey you know what we told you so it's kind of you know 50 50. you know the the, the young people liked it the vets weren't too hot about it I don't know he, he better quit making those it might get a little tough but I mean hey he called it I mean he, he probably knew something we didn't know we just got out coached and outplayed. I wanted everything to shut him up and, uh, and you know, send him home packing uh, as, as, with a loss, a big loss. But, you know, they came out there and they backed it up. I got to give, give him credit uh, to, to say that. Well, so variety of opinion. You know Marvin Lewis and the Bengals like, okay, just be quiet, let's play. <laughs> but look at what the Bengals have done. Remember, they started 0-3. Overall, they started 1-4. Last five games, four of them wins. The points scored almost double everything else you could see defense everything huge improvement the coaches made a huge difference they did a lot of things well today offensively uh, not making a lot of mistakes special teams contributed right but i knew that when marvin lewis was hired the strength of this football team was going to be defense and i think that's what we saw today to take a look here uh tony williams gonna be arrowed right in the middle of the football field watch the penetration that he gets on this run by priest holmes makes him veer a little bit further back than he wants to dwayne clemens on the backside has cut back just in case 
it's going to happen, but great effort there by Tony Williams. Then on the blitz package, linebacker Adrian Ross and the safety, Rogers Beckett, going to be coming at Priest Holmes. Two guys on one. He can't block both of them. He misses both of them. In this case, they both get to Trent Green. And then watch, this is discipline here. This is Kevin Hardy. He doesn't buy the look by the quarterback, Trent Green, to the right side. He sees the center slipping out, does a great job of getting up on top of the screen, takes on two blockers, and then even better than that, coming off of the play, off of the blocks, and making a great play. And I think that what he's really done, we could talk a lot of XO here, right. but I think what the coach has really done is instill confidence in this football team. You know, Chad Johnson, you don't want to be saying that too many weeks, but he instilled the confidence in this ball club that they think that they can go out and they and they can win football games. They ran for 200, passed for 222 against a team that was not. Yes, absolutely. And, and who knew that the Bengals were pretty good? This was not a complete That's right. You know, Chiefs That's right. are ready. And That's right. let's give a word to the Kansas City Chiefs. You're not going to win. You're not going to run the table. That's right. No, anyone that thinks you are, Chris Crazy. So for them to go after Veterans Day before right. their first That's loss right. speaks to where yes. they're probably headed. Absolutely. Uh, it's a fine football team. Yes, they are.